Next up, at UFC Vegas 99, we have Mateusz Nikolaou taking on Asu Almabayev. And this fight is bizarre to me. The line movement is bizarre to me. There are a lot of people saying, hey, watch out. Mateusz might win this fight. A lot of people. And I'm a little bit surprised. I'm going to break this fight down. And I understand that Mateusz is a good grappler, but like, we have blinders on his last three fights. We have Mateusz Nikolaou, 19 and 4 in his career. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew that was coming. 19 and 4 in his career. 3 and 2 in his last five. Back to back knockout losses. He's taken on Asu Almabayev, 20 and 2 in his career. 5 and 0 in his last five on a 16 fight win streak. And Mateusz Nikolaou, while he's getting slept left and right, he is a good fighter. He's a very competent grappler. He's got 10 takedowns in his seven UFC wins. And his striking is clean. <laughs> what? Just go, it's awesome, baby. Oh, that's, uh, what's his name? Do it. It's awesome, baby. Say the dookies are going all the way, baby. What is his name again? Dick Vitale. Dick Vitale, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the dookies you, are going all the way, baby. Wait, it's awesome, baby. He's like eating a sandwich, right? It's like a Jimmy John's commercial or some shit. A video game? It was, it was food for sure. Anyway, I'm breaking that's this his, fight down. That's his tagline. That's I know, he's but, in the commercial. Yeah, I get it. Say the dookies are going all the way. No, I'm going to break down this fight. Uh, Mataj Nikolaou, good technical striking. Good jujitsu. He's got all the skills. He just doesn't have a chin to keep it there. And the problem is, without a chin, he's not going to stand and bang. And if he can't stand and bang, and he's trying to shoot takedowns, they're going to be out of nowhere and not well set up. He's taking on a Sue Almabayev. This guy's a flashy striker and a dominant grappler. He can control that striking range. He'll start spinning. He'll fight wild. And then he'll look to grapple. He's got great control. Very solid on top. Doesn't really go looking for submissions, but he'll snatch something up in a scramble if it's available. He is strong. He sets a great pace. He's got plenty of cardio. And he's coming off his third UFC win, this time over Jose Johnson. And if Jose Johnson isn't submitting a Sue Almabayev, I don't see Mataush Nikolaou doing it. Mataush Nikolaou's not going to be able to defend those takedowns. Mataush Nikolaou, just one good clean shot. He's going down. Asu Almabayev is the pick. I am very confident in Asu Almabayev, and I don't know how this line continues to tighten. But somehow you're getting better and better odds on it every single day. Asu Almabayev is the pick, and I just think Mataush Nikolaou is, without the ability to stand and really swing, he's not going to be able to set up clean takedowns or be able to defend them. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Uh, I will mention one thing, and that is with my lock of the week last week, that was another situation where we had a lot of people being like oh the chinny grappler is going to get knocked out right i mean that's a lot of people are just like oh the chin you can't trust the chin of pat sabatini and he fought in a fight that was tailor-made for him and he dominated that fight i mentioned that because a lot of people just assume nicolau is probably gonna get knocked out again this is kind of a more tailor-made fight i know asu will do more some some of the the striking but a lot of it's kind of the wild wide striking i think it's more of like the tight shots that are finding nicolau um but this should be more of a fight that nicolau can hang a little bit tougher than people probably expect he is a i mean that's what he does the best i know he's a pretty good counter striker even though he doesn't have a chin but what he wants to do is really get into these grappling scrambling exchanges and if he makes asu work there's a world where he can kind of sneak this one out i I'm not going, um, Nicolau. I am picking a Sue because he's shown, as you mentioned, that he can kind of withstand uh, other grappling and do it for three rounds. But I think Nicolau could make him work harder than a, a lot of other people. He's a little bit of that shorter, stockier type of dude. Um, you know, but I, I'm going Asu, and he, he has a chance to kind of dominate this fight. But I wouldn't be surprised if Nicolau makes this a little bit interesting. Yeah, but like, so Nicolau's got, you think he has better submission skills than Jose Johnson? Long-ass Jose Johnson. I'm not saying he's going to submit him. I think he can just kind of hang tougher than people give him credit for, and maybe oh. win some win some scrambles or, and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Um, I don't think Asu's going to knock out Mataush Nikolaou. I think that's a weird narrative. My point with mentioning the chinniness was, without the ability to just stand there and bang, if he wants to shoot the takedowns, he's not going to be able to set him up because he's not going to be standing very long to throw. I don't think he's going to – he's always been kind of a back foot, just wait for the other person. So I think it's going to be – Asu's going to definitely initiate takedowns, and, and, and Mateus is just going to try to scramble him. 
Yeah, I mean, we're, and we're I, building... my, by the way, too, my reference to Pat Sabatini, Pat Sabatini had a, a, a wild advantage on the ground. So that's why yeah, he was like in a lock in the situation. And I don't think Nikolaou has that. So I don't want to hear you guys being like, oh, he said Pat Sabatini. That means Nick... no, it's not the same. No, especially because of Sue, at the very least, should have very good submission defense. And he should be in the more dominant positions. I'm on the Asu side. Jakey Boy's on the Asu side. And I think $8,700 makes a lot of sense. He's going to get control. He's going to land on top. He's going to get the takedowns. Like, I think he's worth the $8,700 in DraftKings Fantasy. And if you do want to unlock all the picks, the bets, the round line leans, the artificial intelligence, if you don't want to hear this voice anymore and just want to see the picks and bets, we want picks.com. Click Become a Member. It's only $10 for an entire month. And that month includes UFC 308. UFC Vegas 100, UFC Edmonton, phenomenal month. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. Wasn't and Piccanini already in the contender series earlier this season? He didn't get a contract. I'm playing him first and second round finish right now. It's like plus 700, plus 800, something like that. I think he was already in the contender series earlier this year and didn't get a contract. So he's going to be back. He's going to be looking for a finish. I just, uh, I'm just looking forward to not competing with contender series next week. Dollar ninety nine from Trevbot. Angelo, please say my name, Little T Man. What's that from? How should I say it? My name, Little T Man. Thank you. I need water. Ah. Hey, if you want fifty bucks, I'll send you fifty bucks. It's affiliate marketing. Go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Use our link to sign up with any one of our sportsbook partners. Make a deposit. We'll send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Wewantpicks.com slash bets. You can then become a premium member if you're not already one. We quite literally have some of the best picks and bets you'll ever find on the internet. And then on top of that, a whole suite of tools. The greatest tool, the data analyzer. It's going to give you interactive data for every fighter on every card clear through UFC 309, every or 310, every single card this year. All the data you want, all the fighters, you can interact with that data, filter it out, and then watch the actual tape of those fighters with a full tape index. And if you unlock the data analyzer now, you'll get it for these four cards. We want picks.com, click become a member at the top. And finally, here's the address if you want to send something for mail day. UFC 308 is in two weeks. Jacob and I are going to go watch it at Cosm in Dallas. And it's going to be a blast. But we're also going to open the mail, do a whole mail day. So if you want to send something, we want picks. P.O. Box 406, Prosper, Texas, 75078.